commodity prices seem to be very volatile. In 2014, when we had the conversation around commodity, commodity pricing, they said there'll be a leveling out after 2017. We've seen 2017, 2018, we've seen the coal price go up. Mike, we've seen the coal price go up to over 100, and we've seen it come down uh, in, in a space of a few months. So that is one of the key things that, that impacts us, because I think the demand, particularly if we look at our export product, gets very, very significantly impacted when there's uh, the, this kind of volatility on the, on the commodity pricing. As far as the decline in coal is concerned, I think our view at the moment is cyclical. We, we know we, 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 we are aware of the structural discussions that are taking place. We believe that a large bulk of our coal goes out to, Africa, uh, to India. And I think that that, um, you know, I don't know if that economy is, is ready to wean itself of uh, coal right now. I guess that's a discussion and debate that will continue to happen. How does it affect Swazi Rail Link? I think the Swazi Rail Link was not necessarily an export coal initiative, but rather to look at a number of uh, commodities that go through the coal line at the moment, uh, particularly general freight. Uh, I think it's upwards of 15 or 20 million tons that of general freight that moves through uh, the coal line at the moment. And that brings a number of challenges to us, in, in addition to some of the constraints that we experience on the coal line. Uh, the CapEx impact, we have to continue. We, we have got take or pay arrangements with a number of uh, our customers at the moment. And I think if we look at uh, our negotiations and discussions with other miners uh, in the recent uh, weeks and months, Chairman and I were with uh, the heads of some of the uh, coal industry players uh, further up north, and they remain committed. We've signed, uh, or we're in the process of signing with uh, an entity in the Waterberg, etc. So I think there's still a fair amount of opportunity for coal from our perspective. We continue with our CapEx expansion in the Waterberg, and uh, we continue to keep the coal line operational and, and properly sustained, because as I said, it's not necessarily just coal that moves on the, on the, on the coal line, export coal line at the moment. Um, chrome, ferrochrome, magnetite, there's a number of products that, that moves on that line. And if the commodity pricing there adjusts itself in global demand, then there will be a, a, a further need for that particular line.